Hey, what's up everyone? How are we doing? Uh, it's me, Mr. 4 Capscaler. So, this is my uh, 4K monitor, LG 4K monitor. Uh, I don't know how many of you uh, remember this monitor, but it's a uh, IPS in-plane switching. Uh, IPS stands for in-plane switching, which is a perfect monitor for viewing angles and a pretty good black levels contrast ratio. Anywho, uh, so here I am from the browser directly playing a um, Google Stadia game with 4K uh, data usage. And here's a good thing. I'm using 4K but with a balanced. See, this is the cool thing. You can even use a balanced data and you can still get to 4K. And, and it still looks pretty good. Um, so this is uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey right here on Google Stadia. Uh, I got my uh, controller connected right here. There it is right here. Just in case you guys want to see it. There's my controller. And uh, looks pretty darn good, man. I gotta say. Here's the thing with Stadia. Um, when you when you have a good internet connection, when everything's running smooth, then you are most likely going to enjoy uh, games in 4K from a uh, browser. Uh, and I think it's pretty cool that uh, we can play. Uh, games from a browser in 4k with Google Stadia. I know I've been kind of harsh on Google Stadia for certain things uh, you know which I had talked about in the past but uh, you know every time I try Stadia I always I always get reminded just how easy it is to jump in and play a game how easy it is to experience 4k and how easy it is to experience 4K HDR on your OLED television, on your QLED television through Chromecast Ultra. It kind of reminds me, hey, you know, this is the reason why I have a Google Stadia. And now that you can sign up for free, you too can try Google Stadia and try it from a Chrome browser to see how beautiful the 4K looks. P please keep in mind you're gonna need a 4K monitor uh, Assassin's Creed is part of 4K. Uh, Red Dead Redemption, obviously, it's part of 4K. And uh, not every game it's 4K, but there's certain games out there that support 4K. And this is one of them, obviously. This is one of them and looks pretty darn good. So let's exit and let's try something else in 4K. Uh, you guys probably want to uh, see a Doom Eternal probably in 4K or... Well, let's jump into Doom Eternal because that's probably what you guys want to see. Doom Eternal. There it is. By the way, I love this 4K monitor. I only use it for uh, Google Stadia, Shadow, uh, and of course some 4K PC gaming that I do on my Dell uh, desktop. This is my Dell desktop right here, which is down there below with the blue lights, as you can see. Uh, it has a uh, Radeon. Uh, 5700 XT graphics card, which I have already uh, done a video on that. A pretty good graphics card. I would probably say one of... Uh, I'll just go on a limb and say, I would say it's probably one of their best uh, GPU cards they have made in a long time. Alright, so... Let's go hit the campaign. Uh, game slot one continue the game and we're gonna also hit shift tab uh, just to show you that it's running in 4k
Now, I also heard, I also heard that um, they're gonna implement surround sound, 5.1 surround sound on uh, Google Stadia. Well, there it is right here. That looks pretty good, man. Let's see if it's 4K. Yeah, it is 4K, it's right here. There it is. See it? But I'm using a balanced 4K uh, and it works great. Sounds pretty good too. You know, I was thinking about um, whether or not I should bother with Shadow or just stick with the Google Stadia because I'm really, my patience with Shadow, it's running really low. I'm not that uh, impressed with Shadow considering just the fact that there's so many problems, there's so many issues, it's not working, the app is not working properly, and it's annoying. And at the same time, also, uh, you have to worry about the storage space. You have to pay for the storage space. I think with Stadia, you get a far better deal, in my opinion, uh, in terms of, like, stability. Remember, uh, Google Stadia, it's the only uh, cloud service that does 4K and HDR and it does it really well okay so uh, don't forget that as you can see it runs good no issues no problems all right maybe we can try another game really quick all right let me jump into Red Dead Redemption 2 really quick All right, so here we go. Uh, it's during the rain. This is 4K. Uh, looks pretty good. This is the place I was at where I was uh, driving a train. So um, here, let me show you that it is in 4k there it is uh, excellent data usage usage balanced 4k there it is right there just so you guys can see it and uh, looks pretty good man but you gotta have a good monitor okay I would suggest that you go ahead with the IPS uh, 4k monitor. Uh, I highly suggest that you go ahead and get that um, Also use a uh, Google Chrome Canary uh, Browser which is in beta. That's what I'm using it seems to work much much better that way so Look man Google Stadia It has some positives and Those positives are that hey you can play games very easy click and play right away you don't have to, uh, you know, wait for any downloads, any updates. Everything's everything's easier access. Think of Google Stadia as a, an alternative gaming that has a much easier access for you to play video games. And on top of that, you get to play in 4K. You get to play in 4K HDR, um, and it runs pretty good on a cell phone. I played on a cell phone. I played it on the uh, laptop. I played it right now on the browser 4K. And I played it on the OLED and QLED. I played it on the projector. I've tested uh, Google Stadia on so many different things. And uh, it's like I told Jade Raymond, uh, and she liked my tweet. I told her, you know, Google Stadia, it works. Okay, we just need to bring those games. We need to get those games. They announced 450 games coming out pretty soon. So we'll see what happens. Uh, any, anywho, I hope... Uh, this video kind of shows you a little bit how it looks on a 4K monitor by a browser, 4K uh, Google Stadia. Thank you.
all right guys i uh see you later with the uh, alien isolation live stream coming in later on today uh i think we still have some time do we uh, i'm just checking my um my timer to see how much time i have left i guess we do well there you have it all right guys thanks for watching i'll see you later take care